Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, I will be talking about 7 outfits that you can wear while traveling. Now, I do know that I did, you know, specifically talk about airport looks in my title, but to be honest, you can wear all these outfits anytime, anywhere because of how comfortable they are. Now, while selecting an outfit for your travel, there are a couple of things that you do want to keep in mind. And the first one is the most important one, and that is comfort. You definitely want to wear something that you are comfortable in so that you do not get irritated during your long haul and you have a very comfortable long flight or drive or whatever whichever way you are traveling now the second thing you want to keep in mind is looking presentable and chic i mean looking sloppy is the last thing you want as you know you're surrounded by so many different people that you know you just do not want to disrespect yourself you know additionally you do want to have an extra layer especially when you're traveling via plane because sometimes the temperature in the cabin can be very chilly so you do want to have that extra layer to keep you warm and in case if you feel hot you can always take them off now let's look at the first outfit and as always I will link down everything in the description box below just in case you want to check them out and the first one is an all black outfit. So for this outfit I will be going with a simple black tank and my black cardigan because this is going to act as an extra layer and I have to say this one both of these are from Old Navy and I have to say that I absolutely love the cardigans that Old Navy make. They are basically cotton, they are not made of wool but they are, they are affordable and they're kind of like you know plushy like you know like I do like the material it, it's kind of thick and fuzzy and warm so you do get that extra warm that you want at the same time it's very affordable so you know something you want to have while you're traveling and you know just around whenever you need that extra layer and now for my bottom, I'm going to be going with my black pleated skirt. I absolutely love the skirt, as you know. And this is kind of like an ankle length for me and petite. So it, it kind of is a full length skirt. It's a very comfortable, flowy, feminine skirt, which I absolutely love. And for my footwear, I will be going with my white sneakers because they are the most comfortable footwear. And yes, so when you're traveling, you do want to have a footwear or you do want to wear a footwear that is very comfortable so that you do not have issues if you have to walk or run around the airport or anywhere when you're traveling. And wearing heel is something I would just stay away from that. I mean, do like heels, but not while traveling. So something flat, something that is close to it is going to be a safer option I would say. Now for my accessories I will be adding in a belt. Now recently when I was traveling what I did was I only had my carry on with me so I did not want it to you know squish my belt in that limited space so I just you know wore them and it did go well with my outfit so I wouldn't complain and that is what I'm going to do and if you are traveling and if you have just limited space you can just wear your belt while traveling no issue it always you know enhances and elevates your look. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be taking my Valentino belt. It's a slim belt and I will be wearing it. So the gold hardware kind of breaks that entire all black look and it looks very chic. And white sneakers are always a chic option to wear while traveling or anywhere. Now let's move on to the second outfit. Now for the second outfit, I will be keeping my black cardigan, but instead of my black tank, I will be switching it with this pink satin top. Now, if I be honest, this one is a part of a pajama set, which I do not have the bottom. Now, when I went to Old Navy, I saw this, it was in the clearance section. I absolutely fell in love with the color, so I had to get it. And I think the reason why it was on clearance because they didn't have the bottom part. I went online and I checked it. Did. I realized okay, yeah, it did have, but I didn't want it to have wanted the the whole pajama set, so I just got this one. And no one's gonna know if you like. Don't tell them. I told you. That's why you know, right? So you can use it, you know, as your regular room. satin top. Why not? I mean, that's what I am doing. So I'm going to be wearing my satin top. Now for my bottom, I'm going to be switching my black pleated skirt with my black denim. Now I do know that you know denim is not considered to be the most comfortable garment while traveling, but a wide leg denim is very comfortable. When I traveled recently, all I wore was denims, like my wide leg denims, and they're really comfortable and provided you know they're like not extremely tight or anything. So having a wide leg denim is going to kind of you know 
look it's also one of the most chicest denim out there like i mean if you compare it with an ankle length i would prefer a wide leg one and the one that i have is from mango and again if you're petite you, you are going to like it because they fit beautifully on you so and also yes i'm going to be keeping my belt and my sneakers because why not Now moving on to the third outfit, we are going to be taking some risk and going a bit bold because we will be adding a white cardigan. Now I personally, I won't like to wear white while traveling, especially if it's a long haul. If it's a short, I don't mind, but you know, especially where I know that I'll be eating and even drinking, I won't be wearing white because I won't be wearing but if you are someone who does like white then here's what you can do so again i'm going to be wearing my black tank my denim but instead of black one i will be wearing my blue denim i will be keeping my sneakers and my belt but for my cardigan i will be wearing this one from old navy this one is a white cardigan and this one is such a beautiful cardigan i mean can, i cannot see myself eating this Eating, eating anything in this i mean i would be fasting throughout my travel and but you know if you want to wear you can wear this it's very pretty it's very plushy and you know comfortable and warm so this is a really good option and i have to say again i said before that these are not wool cardigan but they are very comfortable and thick enough to keep you warm in case you want to have the extra layer if you don't want you can always take them off and if you are not comfortable just wearing tank tops around you can always wear a short sleeve or anything that you're comfortable inside like a black simple top is also fine Now, if you are someone who does love to wear sweatpants or if you have an athleisure style but you don't want to wear sweatpants or if you're trying to avoid sweatpants but you do want to have something that is, you know, related to that, then the next one is for you. See here again, I will be, you know, keeping my black tank top, white cardigan, my white sneakers but I will be taking off my belt because obviously they won't go with this outfit and instead of my blue dark wash denim I am going to be swapping swapping them with my wide leg pants these are basically like a leggings or like a, an athleisure pant but they are like not like those sweat pants it's a wide leg pant and I cannot tell you how comfortable they are they are so comfortable and it doesn't look like you know you're wearing something like a sweatpant and it doesn't look like a leisure at least I mean it does look a bit of at leisure but it looks very chic and kind of sophisticated I would say and elegant in a way and I absolutely love it so especially if you are going like on a, like a long long haul and you want to have something very very comfortable then this pant is a way to go i mean if you are like okay i do not want to wear any denim i do not want to wear any skirt i want to wear something like leggings but not exactly leggings then this one is for you and yes speaking of long haul i would say i mean yeah we will be wearing you know something comfortable you know we are talking about all the outfits and everything but one of the most important thing you want to have is a comfortable undergarment especially like your bras and everything you do not want to wear anything that is tight that is going to make you feel uncomfortable i mean why do you want to you know torture yourself like that so make sure that you're wearing something very comfortable and if you are going on a long haul make sure that you are having an extra pair of undergarments with you so that you can you know change them with travel and feel fresh and comfortable now let's move on to the next one and the next look is something very casual now if you are someone who's like you know what i just want to wear leggings i don't care i want to wear something that looks like legging feels like legging then this pant that i have here is surprisingly also from only but this one is like four five years old i think yeah it's like very old it's kind of vintage at this point but this is a thicker version of leggings i would say and very comfortable 
and I am going to be wearing my black, sorry, black tank top and for my outer layer I will be wearing my green linen shirt and I will be keeping it open so I won't be you know just closing it so it looks very kind of very casual but nice and adding a pop of color is going to make a huge difference in your entire outfit I mean you know wear your all black outfit and just add a pop of color it looks so good and again we are still sticking to our white sneakers because we can run in them Now moving on to the next look, here I have a dress look. Now sometimes, you know, if you are someone who just loves dress and want to wear dress like me, then this one is for you. And here I will be taking a shirt dress because shirt dress is always one of the most presentable chic option to wear and wearing something that is flowy is going to be very comfortable for you and adding in a belt because is sensible and logical because we don't have enough space and also it looks very chic and elevated if you do still i would prefer to wear a belt with this one because i do like it that way and here i'm going to be wearing my this one is my old karen Millen dress but you can wear any short dress i would avoid wearing linen with like especially with a shirt like a dress because you know it's like you are wearing all linen like throughout and it does get wrinkly very easily and that is something you do not want when you're traveling i mean it is okay but it might get very wrinkly because you'll be sitting walking you know like sitting a lot to be honest so something to be mindful of to like avoid linen especially with a dress but yeah, if, I mean, if you are like, I just want to wear it in sure, but like, go ahead. And for my outer layer, I will be adding in my long cardigan because I think that if you are wearing like a long dress or like a maxi dress, wearing a cardigan that kind of matches the length of your dress is a good idea rather than wearing a short one. So here I'm going to be wearing my black cardigan it's from H&M and if you feel like kind of like hot or something you can always take them off and with this one I will be wearing my black flats from Christian Dior and because obviously the white one doesn't go well with this one but if you have any dress that goes well with a white sneaker or any sneakers that you have is a good option I mean it's not that you cannot wear a sneaker with a short dress obviously you can but it should go well with the dress you know Now, now moving on to the next outfit, the next outfit is something that I'm wearing. It's more of a professional look. Now, if you are someone who has a meeting right after your flight or you are going on a business trip, and I would specifically say that, you know, just avoid wearing the outfit that you will be wearing when you are attending the meeting or, you know, wherever you are going. Just wear something else and when you reach your destination, just change your new professional outfit and then go. But if you are going on a short trip or if you want to wear something professional, something, you know, office appropriate, then again here I would say wear something that won't wrinkle easily or that won't crease easily because no mat matter whatever you do, if you're traveling, you are going to get lots and lots of wrinkles. So wear something such items such as satin or chiffon that won't you know wrinkle or crease easily so wear something like that and wear a pant that is very comfortable so here i'm going to be wearing or here i'm wearing a striped shirt which is kind of a classic piece for any kind of office appropriate or business appropriate look and with this i'm going to be wearing my navy ankle length pant or high-waisted ankle length pant from zara both of these are from zara and I absolutely, absolutely love this piece. And you know, I mean, you can see that you know, it does have a navy stripe, so it goes very well with my pants. And for my footwear, I will be going with my burgundy loafer because I think it matches the entire outfit. And I won't be wearing any kind of belt because I don't think I need. And for my extra layer or my outer layer, I will be adding a trench coat because trench coat instantly takes the outfit to a whole different level. I mean, it instantly elevates so look, it looks so chic and put together. And if you are going for that business casual or like an office appropriate look, 
you wear anything and just add a trench coat it looks so put together and chic i absolutely love this idea and again if you feel cold the trench coat is going to provide you that extra layer if you feel hot or if you feel warm you can always take them off but you know wearing something that is not going to crease that something that is very flowy and something that is going to look good i mean no matter how long you're traveling for is a good idea and something that looks good